The threshold angle is a pretty important setting to get right. It determines where supports will be placed and where they won't. If you don't have it dialed in properly, you'll waste time, money and filament. But here's where it gets a little bit confusing. If we go over to Cura, the setting is called Support Overhang Angle, and it works exactly as you would expect. You put in the max angle your printer can print, and it applies supports to everything above that number. This is logical, and it makes sense. But if you try this in Bamboo Studio or other slices like Orca or Creality Print, you'll find that the name of this setting has actually changed to Threshold Angle. And if you apply the same logic that you used in Cura, it just spits out supports everywhere. This is because the threshold angle is calculated from the horizontal plane of the bed and not the model itself. But there is a reason why most of the latest slices are using threshold angle instead of overhang angle. It actually provides a much more nuanced control over when supports are generated. But when using support angle, the slicer may apply supports to areas that don't actually need them, increasing print time and filament waste. Also, some areas that should have supports might be missed because the slicer calculates angles from the model's geometry rather than how it sits on the bed. So here's how you figure out what your threshold angle actually is and how you can apply it to your prints. So the first thing we do is print an overhang test using the same settings that you use for your actual prints. The two most important settings to worry about are your layer height and your speed. There are other factors that can change how overhangs print, such as the material that you're using and the cooling that's being applied. But let's just focus on these two settings for now. So if you're printing a model at 80 millimeters per second at a 0.16 layer height, you'll need to do this test at 80 millimeters per second at 0.16 layer height. I have a full video here that you can watch that goes into this in further detail. So now that we have our overhang test printed, we can now inspect it and see how far we can push our printer to get the optimal results. So from a quick inspection of the overhang test, I think we could probably push it all the way up to 60 and not have any issues. It did do pretty well all the way up to 75 to be honest, but if we're going to make it perfect, I think we're going to stop at 60. So all we have to do is 90 minus 60 and that leaves us with our threshold angle, which will be 30. And we will know for a fact that if we use this material and these print settings, that anything from 60 degrees or below will not require supports and they're gonna come out looking nice and clean. So now I have my threshold angle and I know it's accurate. I can change it in my slicer and now my dragon head uses less filament, prints faster, and I know that all the overhangs are gonna be perfect. Thanks for watching, hope this has helped and I'll see you in the next video.